We've all heard the term keywords, but what are they and how do you actually use them to rank higher on search engines? Welcome back to another episode of Justin Day Digital for your weekly dose of marketing tips and tricks. Whenever you search for something on Google or other search engines, you insert certain words or phrases, also known as keywords. Both individual words like Australia, as well as phrases like best time to travel to Australia are considered keywords. Generally, people refer to keywords as queries or Google searches unless they work in digital or content marketing or they're in the SEO industry. But why are keywords so important and how exactly can you use them for SEO? As a business owner, your online presence is essential and keywords are one of the premier ways for people to find you organically, whether intentionally or unintentionally. For example, if you search for what are keywords? A keyword phrase that gets about 1600 monthly searches, you would come across this article. That means strategically using keywords on your website or in your blog post can help you increase your web traffic and help you rank higher on Google. Now that you know the importance of keywords, here's how you can use them to increase your website traffic and grow your business. There are two main ways, PPC, pay-per-click advertising, or SEO, search engine optimization. You can pay Google to show your website at the top search results for certain keywords. This is known as PPC or pay-per-click advertising. However, people will know that you paid to appear on Google as your site will be marked as an ad in the search results. Every time someone clicks on your website through this ad, you will be charged. Search Engine Optimization, SEO, refers to the process of optimizing your website to organically rank in Google search results. The better Google deems your site for certain queries, the higher it will rank, resulting in lots of organic website traffic for your company. While it's impossible to rank for or bid on every keyword, you can use a few important metrics and attributes to help you choose which are the best for you, including search volume, search intent, value, and keyword difficulty. Your preferred keyword research tool allows you to check for the monthly search volume of each keyword. For example, the keyword, how to choose keywords for SEO, gets about 320 monthly searches, while the question, what are keywords, gets about 1,600 monthly searches. Use both, but prioritize ones to get more searches. In addition, make sure that the keywords you choose are relevant to your business so that users won't just click on your website in search results, but they also stay, browse through, and become paying customers. One of the most important parts of choosing keywords is to create content that aligns with search intent. That means, instead of trying to rank your website for any high volume keyword, make sure that people who are using this query are actually looking for what you offer. Oftentimes, users will insert product keywords to look up reviews or blog posts to learn more. You can tell what users want by inserting a keyword into Google search and looking at the top ranking sites. Keep in mind when you select when you, your own keywords. Search volume and intent are not the only important metrics you also have to consider value. Whenever you assess a keyword's value, look at its CPC, cost per click, tab in your keyword research tool. The CPC will tell you how much on average advertisers pay for a click resulting from that keyword. In other words, the more advertising you are willing to pay for a keyword, the higher its value. The last metric to look at is keyword difficulty. Let's say you found a keyword that fits perfectly into your content. Match, matches search intent and had high monthly searches in value. This is the keyword to use, right? Well, that depends on whether it's difficult to rank for. The KD percentage tab will tell you each keyword's level of difficulty. For example, 
The keyword SEO keywords has about 3,600 monthly searches, a CPC of 3.92, but a keyword difficulty of 97 on a scale of 100, which is marked red, very high, very hard to rank for. Any KD that's in the red is considered high and keywords that are difficult to rank for simply mean that there are lots of high ranking websites that have backlinks from high quality websites. Backlinks are essential when it comes to ranking. So if you try to compete with these sites for a certain keyword, but without any high quality backlinks from other sites, you likely don't stand a chance. Still, backlinks are not everything when it comes to ranking in Google search. Keyword optimization is another important aspect when working on your SEO strategy. Here is an overview of what most people believe is necessary to optimize for keywords. Include the keyword in the title tag. Include the keyword in the URL. Include long tail keywords in your copy. Mention your keyword throughout your page. While these are all elements to focus on, they're not the main way of optimizing for keywords, as the main way to optimize for keywords is to match search intent. Although that was already brought up earlier, it's important to highlight how incredibly essential this is. For example, if you write a blog post about oven toasters and try to rank for that word, it most likely won't get you any organic traffic. That's because most people that search for oven toasters are actually looking to buy one, not read an article about them. Again, you can find out what most users are looking for by inserting a keyword you want to rank for in Google and looking at the top ranking results. In addition to matching search intent, you'll also have to write about the things that users are expecting to see when they come across your site for a certain keyword. For example, if you wanted to rank for keywords, you'd see right away from the top ranking results that people want free keyword research tools to help them find the right keywords for their website and blogs. However, if you launched a Google search with the keyword New York Cheesecake, you'd see right away from the top ranking results that people want recipes. Now, if you write a blog post about New York Cheesecake, keep in mind that people are not looking for the history and origins of the cake, but instead, want to know how to bake one. A quick look at the top ranking pages will also tell you what angle to take when writing about these keywords. That is, a lot of people are looking for an easy or classic recipes. In addition, you could also check the topics that the top pages cover and the questions people want to be answered, including what is New York cheesecake? What is New York style cheesecake? how to make New York cheesecake. By answering these questions in your post, you give people answers to their questions and thereby give them information they want to and expect from your site. Keywords are essential for any brand's SEO strategy. Without them, you have limited ways of being organically found online. By using all the steps outlined in this comprehensive guide, including choosing the right keywords based on search volume, search intent, keyword value, and keyword difficulty, you'll be able to increase your website traffic, rank higher in, on Google, and ultimately grow your business. That's all for this week's episode. I'll see you in the next one. Later.